so I'm a little tired, but I'm gonna go ahead and prep my aloe leaf because I need some hydration in my hair. And um, I got this aloe leaf from my boyfriend's parents' house. And when I pulled it off their plant, um, his dad was like, well, what are you gonna use it for? I was like, well, my hair. My mom used to have um, an aloe leaf when I was growing up and she would always take a leaf off and moisturize her hair with it. So that's what I'm gonna do with this aloe leaf. I'm gonna um, cut off the little spiny sides and then I'm gonna take off the um, green so that I can get to the inner filet. Then I'm gonna blend it up and I'm gonna put it on my hair. So stay tuned because I'm about to start cutting. Okay, hey, so it just how turned out you can see me because um, if I told you before, I have a torn meniscus so I can't really be standing on my leg that long or walking around like that so hey didn't expect for y'all to see me in this video but I'm gonna go ahead and prep my aloe leaf like I showed you a minute ago um, and y'all can watch so I'm gonna cut this part off right here because it's getting a little it's getting a little old because I've been having it in the refrigerator for a little while and then I'm gonna use Peeler. You could do this with a regular knife, but I mean, actually, I don't even know if this works. Oh, this works really good, actually. So I'm taking the little spiny parts off, and you want to be careful. You don't want to poke yourself with these or anything. Just that. Maybe this side. And I haven't figured out the easiest way to get the fillet off yet. I remember making a big mess out of this when I was younger, so I'm hoping not to make a big mess today. But we'll see. So let's see if I can do this. Yeah, this is gonna be the best way with this peeler. Yes, honey. Look at that. Bow. No, it's not as fresh. Um, but when aloe is fresh, it has this like really stank, like really stank smell. Like it don't smell good. So um, just so y'all know, when y'all do get it fresh. But well, mine been in the refrigerator, so that's why I don't stink like that no more. Cause I'm telling you, when it's fresh, it stink. And it's gooey. Y'all see that slime? But that's that moisturizing ability. Look, I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe this on my hair now, cause ain't no sense again wasting the moisture from the leaf but I don't need that well not the leaf but the peel or whatever look at that you see what I'm gonna use honey so I'm gonna rub that on my hair now and then I'm gonna keep going this might take a while I might go back to using a knife actually because this might take a while. I'm gonna do it this way. Okay, this might work faster. Yes! I'm gonna go ahead and use the knife. Let's take as long. I'm gonna go ahead and take, I might take my hair out too. The only thing I don't like about using a knife is that, like, you take the meat off with the aloe. Like, I guess you don't lose that much meat. But you do lose a little bit. And I guess I could have cut... You know what? Next time I cut this into smaller chunks before I peel it. It'll make the peeling process a little easier. Yes! <laughs> this is what I was going to end up doing with it anyway. Like, this is literally, like, y'all mind for go ahead and use the slimy stuff that's on the actual, this part. Huh? Waste not, want not. Shoot. I know y'all probably want to do it like, she crazy. She's just taking that and rubbing it on her head. But watch. If you see my hair after, honey, y'all going to know what it do. I'll just take my hair out. I don't want to know how I get why my hair is so long. It's that curly crown cream. Yeah, I love it. 
for my hair I'm not gonna you know drink it or nothing that's why I keep touching my hair and then touching the aloe it's you know what see the herbalist slash nutritionist side of me wants to tell y'all so much about aloe and what else is good for um aloe is really good for soothing burns like a lot of people know that already because um they apply it after being at the beach if they have like a sunburn or something but also it's like good for major burns too um it's really helpful with soothing skin. look at that smile yes really good for soothing scars bunch of other stuff too My hair about to be popping when I wash it, bro. Definitely. <laughs> I know I'm being messy right now, but so what? Oh, what else aloe is good for? This is also good as a laxative. Um, what you can do with it, and I learned it from my mama to you. You can um, take it in those big gel fillets that you've seen that I've like pulled up already, you know, but the bigger pieces. You can take them and you can slice them into little cubes and put them in the freezer. And when you put them in the freezer, after they're frozen solid, you can take them like a little pill and just swallow it, and it makes a great laxative. That way, you don't have to, um, you know, taste some of that bitterness because aloe is really bitter. Um, but since it is bitter, that's what makes it so good for your digestive system. Herbs and plants that are bitter um, stimulate your digestive system and they get those juices going so that your digestive system can do a really good job of um, breaking down your food and things like that. So I'm trying to concentrate so I don't cut myself. Yes! Look at this. It's just so beautiful. I'm also part of um, a couple groups on Facebook. <laughs> so um, if you are on the young side, um, or you know you don't have your parents around, you, know, you might wanna you know turn off the video or fast forward a couple seconds. But um, a lot of women actually use aloe juice as well, um, vaginally as a kind of like lubricant. And I mean you can see why. Come on, Come on. who don't want this? And it's not to say that you're not naturally like that already, but at the same time, it can help get things going and, you know, keep things nice and fluid down there. And some slimy. So I'm going to just take all this extra that's here and just run it through my hair.
little bit more gel in here. Remember I said waste not, want not. We don't waste nothing. I don't waste no food. I don't waste no fabric. I don't waste nothing. Okay. Let's see. Look, got another piece right there. Boom. I'm going to take this big slice. And I'm going to go ahead and rub this over my hair too. So there's plenty of slime and stuff on there. Gel. I need to stop calling it slime. It's gel. I mean, and I really don't know a not messy way to do this. Because, like, I mean, look at my countertop now. I mean, I could have put a cutting board down, but, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Because, either way, the slime is going to get everywhere. And it's not that big of a deal. Because, I mean, it's natural. It ain't going to hurt nobody. It ain't like it's a raw chicken on the counter. But, yeah. All right, I'm going to turn this off. I'm, a, um, I'm just going to blend this up in a blender, um, just like that. And then I'm going to come back and show you what it looks like. Okay? Peace. We'll see you in a minute. So, I decided to show y'all what I was going to put it in um, before I go ahead and put it in my hair. So, my little purple bottle. Look at that. Homemade aloe vera juice. I'm going to go ahead and stop right there. See how much that's a lot. Ooh, and that's gonna be too much. Bam, look at that. Perfect. So, that is aloe juice right there. Nice and foamy. It's probably, once the bubbles pop and it settles, I could probably get some more in there. But for now, that's what that's gonna do. So, yeah. I'm gonna join the bathroom when I go to apply. What? Oh, you be talking about me making faces and you sitting there. Mm -hmm. So you really want to be debut on YouTube looking like that? With your hair like that? With your... You're yeah, disgusting. Really now I got to edit this shit. I'm going to edit it, but... I already oh, debuted shoot. on mine. Oh, you got a channel? Yeah, I've had a channel for years. What's your channel? Mm -hmm. oh. All my shit's private. Oh, is it? I'm going to make mine public because I was bored today and I was like, I need people to talk to. So I'm going to talk to you too. And my camera. Come on, why are you trying to be all on my YouTube though? This is my YouTube. My first episode and you already up. Try and take over. I lay you though. In my defense. You disobeyed me. How did I disobey you? I told you you was coming and sit down with me 
I told you I was gonna do it. Look, once like, I put this aloe on my hair, I will come play video games with you. But you gotta let me finish what I'm doing. You making my video time way longer than it needs to be. So let me finish what I'm doing. And then I'm gonna come play video games with you while I let the stuff sit in my hair, okay? But if you don't let me finish what I'm doing, then I'm not gonna I'm not gonna come play video games with you, okay?